Welcome back to the channel everybody. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new and exciting world of van life, but this time we're talking about vans that are fully electric. There's a ton of new companies out there who are coming out with new electric vans, and in today's video, we're going to go over some of the best ones that I found and the ones I'm most excited for. Just imagine a world where you can go out, drive all across the country, and never pay for gas. I can't wait for that future. So I'm super excited to share what I've learned over the past few days researching all of these vans. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. We talk about hiking and van life content. Uh, if you find this video helpful and informative, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And let's jump into it, checking out our first van, Canoe. Here we have Canoe. And their van is the MPDV, also known as the Multi-Purpose Delivery Vehicle. And I mean, the design of this van is just absolutely stunning. It's modular, so you can use it for a lot of applications for van life. You can use it as a storefront. You can use it as a locker. It's just, there's so many possibilities, and this is the one I am most excited for. So let's check it out. They're available to pre-order now, which is great, and I think it's supposed to have about 250 miles of range, which, you know, isn't the best. It isn't ideal, especially for those really long road trips. But I think it, 250 is definitely doable, especially if you're going to be, you know, roaming around town a lot and in the city a lot or not traveling very far from your destination. I'm just really excited about the possibilities that uh, this van is going to bring. Uh, so let's scroll down a little bit and we can see the specifications on it. So there we have it. We have 230 mile range, 200 foot of cargo volume, or you can get the bigger version with 400 foot cargo volume, uh, tons of payload, fully like customizable. So you can put your storefront on it. You can put your YouTube channel on it. Uh, and it's just super, super cool. Let's see if I can find the adventure variation. Adventure Canoe EV. Yeah, this one right here, it just looks so freaking cool. Just imagine taking that out camping. I mean, I just can't wait to see what this company brings out. They've gotten a little flack recently because they've changed their uh, business model from a subscription model to a traditional pay to own model. So that's a little concerning and their stock price has dipped a lot because of that. Also the SEC has started to investigate this company. So I hope all of that is just a small bump in the road and they can continue making this vehicle, which I'm super excited for. All right, this next van is just so freaking cool and I'm so super excited for this to come out, but it's the Volkswagen Microbus all electric. It's supposed to have 300 miles of range when it comes out, which is really exciting. That's a decent amount of range. They've been talking about this one for a while, since about 2017. They're supposed to start production around 2022, so keep an eye out for that. Um, the look, eh, I'm not a huge fan, but I know there's a lot of people out there who are gonna dig this because it's so similar to their classic Volkswagen bus. Um, and again, the design is modular, and that's one of the cool things about these electric vans. There's no engine in the front, so you can take all of that top space of the vehicle and use it. And that's similar in a lot of these uh, buses and vans that we're gonna take a look at today. So seating configuration, looks like you can do six. You can fold it up into a bed. And it's just like so futuristic, you know? I feel like Tesla started that trend with these really futuristic looking vehicles and I'm excited to see uh, what they're gonna come out with. So that's the Volkswagen uh, Buzz and Hopefully we'll see that in the next coming year. You know this list wouldn't be complete without looking at Tesla, of course. There's a company out there creating something called the Tesla Overlander. And this is something that's gonna go in the bed of the Cybertruck and it's gonna expand out to be like a full truck camper setup. I think this is a pretty cool design. It's pretty sleek. I'm not super excited for the way it looks. And I think um, there's probably gonna be better available options later in the future. But so far, this is what we got. I am definitely excited for the Cybertruck because the Cybertruck's gonna have the best amount of range and it's also gonna give you the best autonomous driving features so far. So I'm really excited for that portion of it, but I'm not excited for how this like comes together and I'm hoping to see what others in the future build on top of this platform. But let's take a look. Definitely not in the stealth factor, that's for sure. The sink heated floors 
So it's probably drawing all that power from the Tesla itself. Looks a little cramped to me. Very interesting. So it turns into a bed, wow. And a full shower. <laughs> wow. Pretty crazy. I just don't see that in this city, but perhaps if you're out like camping, of course, it's pretty, pretty cool. Arrival is another company out there producing fully electric vans, also with autonomous driving features in it. And they're mostly going to be used for like delivery services such as Amazon and UPS. But once they are available to the public, I think this is going to be one of those really cool like vans that people can work on. I think the design is really beautiful. It's very futuristic. So let's talk about what kind of range we're gonna be getting out of these guys here. So the arrival van is gonna give us about 200 miles of range, which is really cool. So yeah, there we can see the van being used for like delivery purposes, which is what we expect. Expect production of the arrival van to be in Q3 of 2022. Uh, now let's take some time and talk about the vans that are actually here now, which you can go out and buy. Just before you get too excited, I feel like all of these vans are really meant for delivery purposes and a short range. The technology to have a huge range just isn't there quite yet for these vans. I'm sure it's coming really, really soon. And then when these companies do release higher range vans, I'll definitely be taking a look. But they're pretty cool and they're available now. So let's take a quick look at those. We have the E Sprinter by Mercedes Benz. And as you can tell, it looks exactly like any other Sprinter. Uh, except it's powered by a fully electric engine, uh, which is great because then now you can uh, not have to worry about diesel or gas or maintenance and anything like that. And also you're gonna get that instant torque like you would with any other electric van. And I'm super excited to see once they release one that has a really good range. If we look now at the e Sprinter, we're getting about 150 kilometers um, and I'll, I'll translate that into miles right here, but only 150 kilometers per kilowatt hour, which isn't a huge amount of um, moving space. And that's similar if we look at like the Ford Transit. So in 2022, the Ford E-Transit will release in the United States, and that's going to have about a 130 mile range, uh, actually 126 mile range. and again it's very similar to the sprinter where not much is changing uh, as far as the design is concerned but like all of the other electric vans it looks like you'll be able to power your tools so if you're using it for work you can power it straight from your van and i think someone who uses their van for work that's going to be a game changer and also if you're using for van life of course you can use that as a power source um, and then again electric fiat ducato That blue kind of makes it look really cool, right? But it's very similar. Um, and you guys already know how I feel about the Fiat's. 370 kilometers of range, which is the most out of the like legacy brands, such as like the Mercedes and the Ford, which is really, really great. Um, and then also it has like a recovery mode. So if you're going downhill, it'll help recharge the batteries. And this one has solar. So good job to Fiat. Um, a couple of great things with these new electric vans is that you're going to be able to travel to all sorts of places and you're not going to have to pay for gas, of course. You can use your van to like power your home, which is great. Also, maintenance will be a thing of the past. You don't have to worry about like changing the fluids or anything like that. So this new electric van space is super, super, super exciting. All right, everybody. Well, hey, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative, and I hope you're as excited for these new electric vans and for the new electric van life of the future. I'm super stoked and I can't wait for it. If you're not already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We're trying to hit our goal of 1,000 subscribers by June 27th, and we are so, so, so close. So please help us out. Smash that subscribe button and also smash that like button. And until next time, you guys take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Peace.